All right, well, uh, welcome back everyone. A beautiful start to our St. Patrick's Day afternoon out there in Niles right now on our Groove Roofing and Siding Traffic Camera. And nothing but a uh, beautiful blue sky, maybe some faint, uh, very high cirrus clouds, but that's really all about it. Quiet here, but let's uh, turn our attention off to the west. The big national story today is the severe weather threat down towards uh, some of the southern states and a, a massive severe weather threat. You can see uh, this uh, big line of uh, thunderstorms beginning to develop from Little Rock down poor. Uh, down towards uh, portions of uh, eastern Texas and that severe threat spanning five states a moderate or high risk for communities in five different states. You can see from Memphis down towards the Gulf Shores over towards uh, portions near Georgia. Uh, just a really awful situation down there. They're going to have the uh, right ingredients for things to really get going as we head into the afternoon. Definitely a story we'll keep a close eye on. But back here at home, Temperatures really comfortable to start off the afternoon. Low 50s for some, approaching the mid 50s in many communities, Salem, Lisbon, Calcutta, all at 54 degrees right now. That wind pretty light too, right out of the south, right around 7 miles per hour. Today, we'll get to a very warm 65 degrees. Sun rose this morning at 731. Sun will set tonight at 732. We're going to fall back to only about 45 tonight. It's going to be mild, but that rain is going to begin to move in as we head towards midnight. So 10, 11 o'clock, uh, maybe some raindrops for the far southwestern edges of our viewing area. Uh, otherwise, things really moving in after midnight. And take a look at those temperatures only falling back to the mid to upper 40s, and we're only going to get into the upper 40s for tomorrow. So not much of a temperature swing from late into the night into tomorrow afternoon. Rain will begin light and then with some moderate mixing in there throughout the morning, and especially midday, early afternoon. Watch what happens, though. It's still raining at about four o'clock or two o'clock with temperatures in the uh, upper 40s. Things are going to begin to kind of push north and then slide off to the south as we head towards your commute late into the evening on uh, on Thursday and then even into very early Friday morning. So some wet snowflakes. Uh, I don't think uh, we'll see a whole lot of them, but they'll try and mix in, especially late into the night towards midnight, uh, maybe one o'clock on Friday when these temperatures will slide back into the mid 30s. Friday, though, will just be a beautiful day. It's going to start off rather chilly, though. We'll be in the mid 20s with those clouds beginning to push out as we head towards daybreak. How much rain could we see? Well, most of our models agreeing that we'll see anywhere from three quarters of an inch closing in on about an inch of rain. We haven't seen that much rain in quite some time, and uh, we'll get it as we head into tomorrow. A prolonged event, but Friday is going to be a chilly, chilly day. Like I said, we start off in the 20s, only going to make our way to the low 40s at best. Look at the 6 to 10 day outlook, and this is closing in on the final couple days of March. A really, really nice pattern that's going to set up that's going to propel those temperatures uh, into the low to mid 60s. I think even uh, a day or two might try and get into the upper 60s towards 70. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to our first 70 degree temperature by the end of March, but we'll try and get there at least. And uh, even if we don't still a really comfortable stretch of weather after Saturday there, even Saturday 53 and sunny will feel nice. 61 and sunny on Sunday, a mild uh, couple days to start off the week. Jen, Monday and Tuesday, both featuring plenty of sunshine. We get into the mid 60s both of those days.